how the uh, first goal with this franchise feel for you? Uh, no, it felt great. Uh, had a nice uh, screen in front of the net, so it was nice to see it go in for sure. After the goal, it looked like Holloway came and gave you a pretty big hug. Did you feel that in the moment? or? Uh, yeah, no, it was uh, exciting that uh, um, you know we scored, and uh, you know it. Uh, uh, you know, it was, it was nice. Also, I believe uh, screened the goalie as well. So no, it was uh, fun, obviously. From your perspective, how did the game turn like it did? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, obviously we didn't have the start we wanted, uh, and then uh, um, we came together and uh, you know I think. Uh, Played better as a team, and you know we just uh, kept going after that. During the power play goal, it looked like you guys just had so much confidence with the movement, you know, back to Tomer and then back up to you. Kind of just take us through that play. Um, yeah, it was a little just a set breakout there, and you know I kind of had to step on the gun. You know, Tomer made a nice little fake to the middle and it hit me wide there. So much confidence, it looked like you were going to go in and you know, weren't going to get turned away there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, fresh start to the year, you know, new season, so feeling good. <laughs> How did you kind of feel the, the game change in the second period? Yeah, I mean, I think um, in the first period we kind of started off a little slow. You know, we were playing a little hesitant, not being aggressive on pucks, and, you know, kind of after um, walks in Torpo and Faxa, you know, they scrummed it up a little bit there, got the boys going a little bit, and you know, we started playing our game. In the second period? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, for the first, you know, half of the game we seemed hesitant. We weren't playing on our toes. Um, there wasn't a lot of communication on the ice between uh, – between line mates, between D partners, and we just seem to be chasing the game a little bit too much. But, you know, to be honest with you, um, just the life on the bench was continued to be there and just, like, guys pushing each other to, to get things going. And, you know, overturn goal, a um, little bit of a scrum. You know, we get to a power play. Um, you know, we score right away off it. And then the next shift after that, it was, like, just a switch turn for us. We started forward-checking. We were aggressive. Our D were down on pucks. Our, our forwards were re- reloading and backing up. And just seemed, you know, from the second half on, we kind of took over, you know, took control of the game. Power play goal always looked like a set situation. I mean, just... Do you kind of rarely use it, pick your spot, and hope that it works there? Yeah, I mean, they are kind of set situations. It's all built on, you know, what you're going to see from team to team. And, um, you know, we just felt like tonight was a good opportunity where we might catch them kind of standing still and we could use Jordan's speed. And if not, then, you know, Tomer had a lot of speed where he could carry the line too. So So is that something you notice on the pre-scout a little bit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. As far as the, the scrum after the disallowed goal, how did that? Yeah, I, d- I didn't see how it happened around our bench. Like I was busy, kind of getting my line ready and get them out, and a few of them had jumped on. So I, I personally didn't see what happened there. How did, how did it change the momentum? I, guess? I, I just think, you know, it, I think sometimes like a little bit of pushback is is good, and I, I think at that point we needed a little bit of more energy uh, to our game, and you know, walks, torpo, facts, like those guys. You know, there's a lot of guys that brought a lot of energy to the game once we started really getting going. But, um, you know, for whatever reason, it kind of jump-started us a little bit. But certainly the power play goal really brought life to our bench. I think uh, Walker made sure that Dunn was in his way on the way back. I mean, that doesn't surprise you that Walker's trying no. to get And that's, going. you know, here's a guy that continue, continually finds ways to, to keep himself in the lineup, to make a difference in the lineup. And he did it tonight. Might not have been on, you know, the score sheet, but he found a way. With Kyra, over the last couple of years, he's gotten off to maybe a little slower starts. I mean, encouraging sign for you guys to see him come out. To yeah, this. and the same thing. Like he, you know, took advantage of his opportunities. There was a couple of more opportunities where I'd like to see him, you know, really bear down. But um, he's finding areas. Guys were finding him. Again, he's using his speed. He's competing, and you know, good things happen when when he's doing that. And in that second goal, it seems like he kind of caused the turnover too at at the blue line. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. He he was on his toes, you know, and that's something that we weren't doing in the first half you know he he jumped on the loss uh broke up a play um you know tex got a you know got a hold of the puck and then sent him off so it's good good stuff sure if you don't get that power play goal who knows if you get the other two at least not as quick i mean how important is it to get power play goals like that to kind of get ignited well, i think just early in the year um just for confidence like i think it goes a long way with 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 our group um, you know, I, I like the way they moved the puck. I thought there were some chances even on their second, you know, second time when we came out came out in the third period where, you know, they had some pretty good looks and we just missed. Um, but, you know, I, I still believe like our, our group was going to keep pushing. Like at some some point, it was going to turn for us. You know, whether it was power play or walks, 
Um, I just felt, you know, at that time you could feel the confidence on our bench, like we, we were ready to kind of turn the page and, and get back to work. And, and just uh, lastly, uh, Jordan Bennington, I mean, it's like you can have a long conversation and not bring up his name, but he's the reason. Yeah, Benner was outstanding early on when we weren't at our best, you know, and um, we saw that a lot last year, and we had to rely on him early to keep that game close, and I thought he did that well for us. Um, you know, and again, then the guys rallied for him, and we found a way to win a hockey game for him. Did you guys do well defensively at the last? Yeah, I just, yeah, I think just the whole third period we were really good. You know, I mean, the shots that they got were probably in the power play, but you know, after that there was limited chances. Um, you know, I thought we we supported the puck well. Uh, we were, you know, pretty good on the walls. Our D got that back to pucks, but we forced them to play from their goal line back. You know, we were able to get in a four check, and we created some good offensive opportunities where their goalie had to make some pretty difficult saves.